Okay, guys. So, today we're going to do... Basically, I've been playing this game. It's called uh, Space Robinson. It's a dungeon crawler. I'm a huge fan of dungeon crawlers. And this is probably one of the harder dungeon crawlers I've played. Just because of how tight spaced it is. For those of you that are new to this. and you, I've already completed the first level, really. Like, the first... Uh, 10 levels so what happens is you actually recycle so I'm on the second cycle But um, I mean I'm just gonna give you guys some tips and tricks on how to beat it because there is some things that you do have to get Used to so we're gonna start Just by talking about colony 21, which is basically the starting spot. So let's just go through this real fast because this is kind of important um, So basically these are all upgrades that you can make along the way now the first thing I'm gonna say uh, about this game is that it's one of the only dungeon crawlers that relies a lot on farming. So every round, as you can see in the bottom, eh, hold on, let me turn eh, right, right here. That's how many jewels you get. So you have to do a lot of farming in this game, which is a little annoying. So every time you farm, you basically put it into this generator and the generator allows you to basically use perks that you can go uh, and start a new game with. So what I always do is I run the two... Um, up here's two, uh, what you call it, um, two med kits. God, sorry, still waking up. Um, and then this increases max health, but I don't really use it. Uh, there's really no reason to. But basically the way you unlock these is each one has almost like a riddle to it. And uh, you, if you can solve the riddle within the game, uh, you basically get the piece and then you have to finish the level to keep the piece. And then you just put it into one of these and boom. So the way it works, is that each one takes a bit of power. These are the power cells, so I can hold up to three right now, and then every now and then I'll make an upgrade. So, other than that, uh, this you'll open once you finish the first 10 levels in one go. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, now, here's another thing I'm going to say. There's really no point to playing on the hardest difficulty because you don't get anything out of it, especially when you're farming. So I just do the easy mode. You get two extra health. It really doesn't make that much of a difference. The game isn't actually any easier. You're basically just shooting yourself in the foot if you don't use it. So um, and once I get everything, then I'll do a hard run. But for right now, we are just going to um, basically start a new game. Uh, now, again, I'm on the second cycle. So for those of you that haven't beaten the first cycle, this is going to be a little different for you. I'm going to have a lot of harder enemies. There's going to be a lot more elemental damage. But if you're still struggling to get through the first level, all you have to know is it's a good uh, place to start getting used to your hammer. Because basically the best way to win this game or get through levels real easily is to upgrade your hammer or your wrench as much as possible. So, yeah. Let's just send the first one. So, again, as you guys will notice, I will have a lot more elemental damage enemies. So, I'll have to be dealing with a lot more acid. Uh, which, again, really isn't too big of a deal. But for the first part, I suggest... Uh, using your secondary, your primary shooting weapon, I should say. Uh, just because you, you don't, ha at this point, you have no upgrades. And then always be collecting gems no matter what. There's really no, you don't really want to force your way through the game. So there's three types of, well, technically two types of bullets in this game. You have uh, neutral bullets and then enemy bullets, obviously. And neutral bullets are these pink ones. And there's certain abilities that you can get that will actually nullify those, which makes it a little easier. Because when you're at this point, you probably won't be taking too much L um, damage from enemies, but you'll be taking a lot of elemental damage just because, again, it's so tight. Now, another thing I will say about this game, the way you kind of want to look at it is each level has almost three parts that kind of stack on top of each other. And best thing you can do is kind of take it left to right, uh, just trying to complete every level. These are important later on. We'll talk about that later once we get through the first kind of important part. Now, these neutral bullets, as I was talking about, they're actually really useful when it comes to taking down enemies because they do a lot of damage. So just shoot them a couple times and move on. Now, you don't really have to worry about ammo conservation either because normally you'll get a lot of ammo back. So, yeah, just keep doing that. So this is where you get your first upgrade, really. Always break these as well, sorry. But this is where you get your upgrade. So for me, it would probably be smart to do immunity to acid just because, again, I'm dealing with more elemental stuff this round. But um, again, don't worry about anything that helps your dash. Those are all secondary. Always try and focus your... Um, if you can get your hammer leveled up as much as possible, perfect. Now, 
This is one of the only dungeon crawlers that has this nighttime mode. So honestly, don't even worry about them. Just dodge them. I don't, I don't attack them at all. The only time that I will attack them is there's an ability that allows you to get um, health back sometimes when you kill with your hammer. I'm going to keep calling it a hammer instead of a wrench. I don't know why. I'm just an idiot. I don't know. But that's the only time I'll really attack these guys. What I like to do is I like to clear the map as much as possible so I have enough room to move and not have to deal with enemies. So a lot of this game kind of relies on patience. So yeah, you just kind of want to dodge. Not too, too hard. There's uh, abilities that allow bullets to slow down, which uh, oh, definitely helps, but not a necessity. You'll get used to the bullet times eventually. So I'm not going to go over what all the enemies do, because essentially they all just do the same thing. Um, so it, it's not super important. You'll like Again, you'll figure it out. All the enemies that I'm fighting are just upgraded versions of the ones that you'd be fighting if you're still on the first level. So I got super lucky with the um, freeze damage. So what I'm actually going to do, just to show you how awesome this thing is, I just freeze like bosses and I just whack them. Now, I'm not guaranteeing I'll do well on the first run, but again, I haven't played in probably about three days. So we're, really, we're kind of just sending it, going to be honest with you. Now, I would always suggest clearing the map unless there's one reason not to, like if you have no med kits or anything, just because you'll get ammo back and sometimes you'll get a med kit. Um, so I always suggest completing a level. Now, all of these will have um, weapons in them. So there's four types of ammo down in the corner. You got assault, you got sniper, electric, and then bomb damage, so like grenade launchers and stuff. Um, I would always just grab a secondary just because you never know when you'll need it, but eventually you're going to want to get weapons with elemental damage, which you probably won't get until the second, uh, well, technically the fourth level. So, uh, for now you're just kind of using whatever they give you. If there's guns that I would recommend, it's really anything that, um, it, really anything that isn't the... Uh, smg just because the smg goes through ammo so quickly and we do want to conserve ammo a little bit you can still like go all out with the ammo with other guns but with the um with the smg it's kind of hard same with the minigun the minigun's not that good my my biggest recommendation what i like to use is the shotguns and the burst fire perfect so i'm gonna pop that med kit right away i always pop med kits right away because i always want this health bar to be as high as possible for the next level because every third level there's always a uh god damn it there's always a um a, almost like a wave thing and i'll show you guys how to do that because that's probably the hardest part if you don't know how to do it so i'll plow through this so this is a shotgun it doesn't matter what kind of shotgun but always grab it now this uses assault rifle ammo so i have to get rid of my pistol unfortunately i like the pistol but it's not that big of a deal again you can spray and pray with the shotgun you'll get ammo back pretty quickly now i actually died which sucks but again i'm not the best player you know i'm, I'm still learning but I think we should go over this uh, since we're here. So these are actually ability. I'm actually going to use them right now just for those that are past the first level. But basically each one of these gives you a perk. You find these in the um, uh, you find these in the world just as you go. And that's important because once you finish the first level, you can actually use them. You get a key to open this. So now I can start uh, like this basically like with some with some upgrades. But again, for those of you that are like, oh no, I mean, I'm not at this point yet. I can't do this. This is going to be so hard. Again, just take it slow. The first six, first 10 levels, sorry, are, um, or first cycle, I guess I'll call it, is uh, really about patience and just getting good with your hammer. Now, I should also say be careful because you can actually break this system here if you're not careful and you lose all of the perks. So you won't be able to get anything. But so this one increases reload. This one is more ammo in boxes, and this one is firing weapons. So I would say that this is more important. So this means you get a weapon in pretty much every box you open, and not just the ones that have uh, ammunition in them, like the ammo boxes. But uh, it helps because it increases your chances of getting an elemental weapon. So I didn't get one in that box, but that's okay. Now, what's with the other one that I have? I actually don't remember that. Restores one HP when using a teleporter. Not that great. I wouldn't pick that up in the field, but um, again, it's a free perk, essentially. So, 
Now, since I'm using um, so many perks, I'm actually going to play this super duper safe. Just because the last ones you actually don't get until, like, the orange one down here, you don't get very often. I think I only have two left now. So, that's why I'm going to play this super carefully. Which is, a, which is probably a good thing. Again, when in doubt, just play, play as safe as possible. Now, one thing I should also mention for those of you that are still on the first round. On the second level of this game, you'll always have to deal with a boss. And the boss, when you beat them, is usually going to give you a relic the first time. And that relic is going to let you upgrade certain things. So, um... Yeah, just try and take out the boss and then clear the level and then you can quit if you want to because again They make the game so that you have to farm in order to get ahead so Yeah, try and focus that a little bit too Focus on getting as many relics as possible. All right, let's see. So this is an SMG SMG I'm not gonna pick it up just because it's not a bad one. It's actually an auto aim one. So it's pretty cool Actually, yeah, we're going to pick that up because I don't think I've ever actually used this one. But normally I wouldn't pick up an SMG just because they are... Ooh, ricochet pistol. Not bad. Just because they, it uses so much ammo. Yeah, this thing doesn't really... Auto-aim is kind of a lie. So we're going to go with the pistol instead. Because Oh, this pistol. This one ricochets. And also, again, conserving ammo is now kind of a necessity for me. What should we use? I'm actually going to get rid of the pistol and pick up the auto shoddy. Just because. It does a lot of damage, which is really going to help later on. Eventually, if I can get an elemental shotgun, that's even better. But beggars can't be choosers, right? So right now, I'm basically sniping with the laser. Which I've never actually done before, but it's working pretty well. I didn't realize how far this thing goes. But uh, eventually, you're going to care more about attack speed rather than um, damage. Just because it's going to be a little bit more important and more useful to you. So right now, you're really just... The goal for these missions is just to kind of pick off as many enemies as possible. So we're up to our next real upgrade for this run. And let's see, what do we got? Chance of firing a bomb instead of an ordinary bullet. That's nice. Hero summons a meteor shower when hit. Not worth it. It really isn't. Extra melee damage for each missing health point. Oh, okay. This is actually an interesting choice. Um, extra melee damage. See, you can't... For some people, this might be super useful. For me, it's not. Just because I don't really get hit too often. Humble brag. Um, but I'm actually going to go with this. Just because an explosive bullet's pretty nice for me. For what I'm doing. And then, uh, yeah. So, for those of you that need the other one, definitely do it. If you think you're going to get hit a lot. But I'm playing it super safe, so I think I'm going to be okay. Okay, guys, so I just finished the second level. Now, before you go into the third level, uh, what you want to do is probably get through one night time. So I just let it go. See, I'm only two bars away, so I'm actually going to just let it go. But while we're here, let me just say a few things about the wave level. So, uh, minigun, don't worry about it. It's not that good. Um, okay, so every third level is going to be a wave level. So what's going to happen is you're basically going to get attacked and you have to survive for a certain amount of time. At the beginning levels, so the first cycle, it's going to be about hiding. Surprisingly, there's actually a couple hiding spots on the map that I'll show you. All the maps are the same. I think it cycles through one of three. Um, or so far, I've only really noticed three different ones. But there's a couple little hiding spots that you can use. For people who are on the next cycles, so I'm on the second cycle, it's going to be a little different. It's going to be more about moving. So you have to move kind of in a circle, counterclockwise or clockwise, depending on which way you feel comfortable with. And it helps that I have a shotgun just because it's a lot easier for me to get around. And then if something's in my way, I can just kind of mow it down. But for, uh, for the second cycle, it's a little harder. You're also going to have to deal with a boss, like a mini boss, but you don't have to um, fight it. First cyclers, I'm just going to call you guys first cyclers, you won't have a boss, so you just have to worry about running around and hiding. Um, more so funneling. I shouldn't really call it hiding. And um, so the second cycle is don't worry about it, about the boss. All that's going to happen is um, you're going to get, if you do kill it, you're just going to get a med kit and some ammo back. It really doesn't give you anything for killing the boss. So, yeah. Now, the other thing I'm going to say 
is if you don't have a med kit, which I do not have right now, I'm actually going to try my best to get a med kit as fast as possible by breaking the purple boxes in there. So you guys will see what happens um, when, when we hop in. So before we start this one, let me just tell you my thought process now. So this is basically a big open area. There's going to be a lot of gems everywhere. Before it really starts, I'm going to want to get as many of those gems as possible, find a med kit, and then find a hiding spot. So uh, again, psych people who are on their next cycle, the second cycle, you will actually um, not really worry about finding a hiding spot. You kind of just want to get the gems and start moving in a circle. Try not to go backwards unless you absolutely have to. There's my med kit, so we're good. And then the other thing that we want to get is we won't worry about ammo boxes right now just because you won't be firing for a little bit but i will see what we're doing here now i'm at the point where again i i can get through these guys if they come too close but it's gonna be a little bit so here's the quick thing this is an ooh, ooh this is really important this is what i was talking about before so now whenever i hit someone i'll get an not every time but there's a good chance that i will get a um uh, i'll get a health point back which is really nice especially later on so right here's a boss this is the first boss that you guys will actually be dealing with in the first cycle if you're on your uh if you're on the second level but right now we're on the third so we we have the boss we don't have to deal with them so i'm just gonna run in a circle this is the ricochet shotgun i'm gonna grab that if i can yep perfect this is a laser pistol it's nice but it's not super important so I'm just going around a circle, just getting what I have to. Don't worry about this. This you don't get till later on. Now, you'll always have to go through a nighttime cycle. And again, don't worry about just running in a circle. Now, there's a couple. I said we would talk about hiding spots. Now, there's not. this is a good hiding spot. So you hide here and you slap down. Uh, again, for me right now, just because these guys have more attack, really. Um, we're not going to... We're not really going to hide because it's kind of unnecessary for me. Now, as of right now in this update, in the current uh, form of this game, I should say, there's no real, real way of knowing when the teleporter's done. It's actually locked right now. So what you have to do is basically keep running in a circle for uh, until it gets to the final wave. It'll literally say on your screen, final wave. And then after that, what I'll do is I will wait like... I'll keep running in a circle for about like 10 laps, I would say, and then I'll go check out what the percentage is. Yeah, I'm going to try and run through it right now. Like, as you can see, you can see the teleporter here. And right now, it says 65%. You got to wait for that to get to 100. So, it's pretty slow. I won't lie to you. You actually can clear this level, but there's really no point in doing it. You, all you get is a regular um, bonus. So, okay, right now, I'm on the final wave. Ooh, I just got through that. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that. Okay, so we finished the first uh, three levels. Now, we're going to get to a almost like a save zone, which is pretty nice. So this will not be unlocked. What this actually does, you have to pay 500 for this one, I believe. And basically, it's it gives you energy to purchase the store, sort of. So I'm actually going to come over to this turn it on by hitting it and then first aids for a hundred i have a thousand so i'm actually going to buy a bunch of these and get some healing back and we're good so i wasted probably about four hundred dollars there or points whatever you want to call it so the other one if you were curious is just ammo you can buy ammo but i've never bought ammo it's usually not a problem so we're just going to send it on to the next level which is the tropical forest now the only thing you have to know about this level which is kind of different from all the other levels is these right here uh, if you break these plants, it actually spawns like these little explosive guys and you really don't want to deal with them. They're pretty fast, but for me, I might do it when I have low health just because I get the health back. Now I deal with a lot more acid guys. I'm going to, I'm definitely going to start using my, um, weapons a little more instead of the hammer just because, uh, a wrench, just because it's a little safer, especially since I'm dealing with a lot of elemental damage now those tree trunk guys are the only ones that are kind of different and basically what they do is super annoying once they see you they can launch grenades uh across the map and they're a real pain in the butt to deal with 
So we're going to try and just take them out as quick as possible. You want to prioritize them just because um, dodging is kind of a pain. Sometimes the boxes, I should also mention, um, will have fake guys in them and they'll actually explode and it'll do some damage to you. And then you have to kill the guy inside. Just um, kind of, if you do hit it, just keep smacking it so that uh, the guy inside doesn't attack you. So one, one of these has to be fake. Usually when you get close to it, it's, it'll blow up. But surprisingly, I didn't have anyone in there. So we're good. Now, what are, what's our next upgrade? Dashes add bullet, not important. Ooh, let me kill this guy. Boom. Uh, more ammo. Now this one's pretty nice too. Uh, so what this does, it's kind of like a magnet. So it magnetizes yourself and then you get more, um, like everything will just come to you. So you don't really have to chase. It's not a necessity, but it's kind of nice to have. Now, a uh, rule of thumb, I should have said this at the beginning, just because I've played, I've played Dungeon Callers my entire life. They're like my favorite types of games. Rule of thumb, never actually look at your, per like, look around. Always keep an eye on your character and then uh, use your peripheral to attack. Um, just because it's a lot easier. That's like Dungeon Calling 101. So it's it's good that I mentioned that. Okay, level two of this map's a little different. So what's going to happen is now almost all of the enemies you attack explode. So you kind of want to just keep your distance. Ooh, a flame pistol. Ooh, that's nice. But if we can get a flame shotgun, we're laughing. Okay, if you hadn't noticed, uh, there was a guy that was blinking there. Uh, in that crate, that's how you know. So these guys also go invisible, which is kind of obnoxious. But if you just follow them, they really don't do too much to you. Now, what do we got over here? We got enemies are highlighted at night. We got dash creates a line of fire. And I believe the other one is dash gives us uh, a bullet back. Again, these are kind of useless. These are pretty crummy ones. So. Right. Dash has additional. Let's go with. The ammo is only like one bullet. So I'm actually going to try this. I've never used it before. So enemies are highlighted at night, which could help. Man, okay, grenade launcher. This is actually really nice. You know, I'm actually gonna trade that out for the shotgun. So also, you can only have two primary weapons. You can't have um, you can't have more than that. Like I I thought you can have one for each um, weapon category, I guess, but you can't. So we're gonna keep that grenade launcher on us just because um, uh, it's gonna be really nice for the boss. Oh, one thing I should mention about the grenade launcher is that the grenade launcher is the only weapon I believe that can actually hurt you by the explosion. So you just have to be careful about that. Cool. We have the level. Got our thing. Okay, so now we're on to the... Th oh, I missed a gem, but that's okay. So we're on to the third level. Again, there's going to be another boss. Um, it'll be the second level boss technically in the first run but uh again you don't have to fight it just keep running around in a circle it's really the same concept try and find a hiding spot um and uh try it's basically just the same concepts as the last one this one you're going to want to move around a lot more for because uh you're dealing with uh explosive enemies um uh, let's see we're gonna go with the acid so this actually protects against acid uh the acid element on the ground again just run around in a circle we should almost be done i've probably done yep perfect cool so we got through it and we got full health back that's nice so now we're on to you and nice sorry um now we're on to the second checkpoint. I actually don't know. I did unlock this yet. I did unlock. So it's the same concept. It takes a little bit more money to get it working. Okay. So on the third level, there's really nothing different about this one. Just enemies are slightly different, a little more powerful. Um, but nothing, nothing really new. So just take it as you would. Ooh, electric shotgun. Now, my recommendation when you have two... I'm already running an electric weapon. I wouldn't run two of the same because you don't want to use up the ammo pool because they share ammo. So that's why I'm going to only have one of each type, ideally. Ooh, acid. Mm. 
Hmm. What do I have? Mm, I already have a flame one. So we are. We're actually going to get rid of the laser rifle because um, the laser rifle doesn't do damage over time. It just uh, shocks enemies. This one actually does uh, acid damage. So I'm going to go with that. Oh, perfect. Extra melee damage for each missing health point. We've gotten reload speed, creates mine. I'm going to go with this just because it's faster. Yeah, what it is is it's reload speed. So reload speed is going to help later on. It's not a necessity. It's another one that I would say if there's something better, grab it. But uh, I'm doing pretty well right now. Ideally, I would like more hammer damage. But we're kind of in the home stretch, as I would call it. So we're not going to worry too, too much about hammer damage at this point. Rocket launcher, never used it. I don't know if it's any good or not. I'm gonna assume it's okay. Again, at this point, if you don't have a weapon that's elemental damage, uh, you're kind of screwing yourself. It makes it a little harder. Just because you wanna do as many, you'll see when we get to the boss fight, you wanna do as much damage over time as possible. Now, one thing I should also say is that um, uh, use whatever weapon you want. I'm just telling you what my preferences are. If you feel like you're better with a weapon that I said is bad, definitely go for it if you think it's going to get you through. But I, I, I heavily suggest um, having an elemental weapon for the last boss. Now, I have two, I have two levels left. This one, I'm going to have to focus a little bit more on using my hammer just because I want to conserve uh, some ammo. Just in case, because the last boss can be kind of a bitch. I have enough gems uh, to buy ammo, but I don't want to do that because I feel like it would be a little disingenuous just because I've been farming a lot and some of you guys might not be at that point. Okay, so uh, ammo boxes, we've seen these. This one's actually probably one of the best things you can get. So this makes bullets travel slower. Uh, which is really nice, especially if you're just starting out. But even when you're not just starting out, it's a super important thing to have. Uh, so we got kind of lucky there. So, guys, we're on to the last uh, real level of this. We have a lot of am ammunition, which is good. Basically full. Now, uh, again, last level. All you're going to have to deal with is the third boss if you're on the first cycle. And if you're on the second cycle, we're just going to do the same thing. We're just going to keep running around in a circle, get what we need, get our perk, and uh, just keep running. So that's the third boss. He is a little tedious, but he's not that bad. Ooh, so that's pretty nice, actually. So, I don't know if I'll have the time to go through all of these. Uh, like, go through the uh, perks, because I think I'm going to get swarmed pretty easily here. Now, there's a one thing there that actually we had in the first um, run through, which is the freeze. The other ones, I don't really remember what they do, so I apologize. But, um, I'll try and read them real quick, but... I don't want to take damage. What does this do? Ah, I didn't get to read it. But if you can get freeze, it helps a lot on your first cycle because you can still freeze bosses and just whack into them. I don't think you can freeze the last boss though, or at least it's very hard to, and you'll see. Okay, what does this do? Here has a chance to create ammo. This, what does this do? I don't remember what that one does. I'll read it in the next, in the next run through. Oh, okay, yeah. So what that one does is now every terminal, if you if you grab that early, every terminal will have five perks in it instead of three. Um, but you can still only get one. So right now we're on the last level, so we don't really need that. So I'm actually going to get the freeze. So now I have freeze and health back, which is a really good combo to have. Um, the other one that's really nice is... Um, well, there's two that are really nice. So there's one that actually causes your wrench to do a shotgun-like move, which is really cool when you're trying to do crowd control. And then it also nullifies bullets. Uh, like there's another perk that allows you to nullify bullets. So at this point, we really don't have to worry about gems because um, like I don't really care about gems that much. If you're still farming, of course, but if you're on your second cycle, gems aren't really your number one priority. So... I'm probably just going to keep running around until I can get there, get to the end. Oh, yeah, we're done. Cool. I was wondering why that felt forever. <laughs> it felt so long. Dry ice. Cool. 
Okay, guys, we're on to the final boss. So, now, this boss is basically a giant crystal. It has three phases. Um, each phase is a little different than the other, but this is where elemental damage comes in real nicely. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're probably going to do. Each one of these, there's one of these in each corner. Each, um, It's like an ammo box. It will always have a med kit if you don't have a med kit and ammo. So... Right now, we're going to be going in pretty deep. I don't even remember all these attacks. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So, it would be really nice if we had um, the nullify ability, but we'll make do. So, as you can see, the shotgun works wonders. So, now... Ooh, again, just keep laying into it. This one's going to be... Ooh, This is the same as the last boss too. So the boss battle doesn't really change all that much. Oh, never mind. It changes slightly on the third one. More explosives. Wow, this thing. I have never used the uh, shotgun with the um, the acid shotgun. So this is pretty nice. Wow, that was actually super easy. You think you defeated me? So that's the second instance done, which is pretty awesome. That was, as you can see, that was super easy. And then I don't know what's changed, but yeah, that's pretty much how you beat it. Um, little underwhelming, because again, you have to keep going through. Usually something's changed, maybe something's open, but uh, I didn't get any relics. I've had this, but yeah, so that's really how you beat it. That's kind of. You'll have to keep going through instances and the bosses will get harder. Like the level will get harder, obviously. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you guys have any questions, just ask me in the comments. I'll get right back to you. Um, are there any more tips that I didn't think of? Also, you guys tell everyone else. So yeah, uh, hopefully this helped you out. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. So peace, peace.